again, yo. Right. Just a couple of things we need to buy. We're gonna buy stuff for the cat. Let's buy this right now. Actually, we. I don't really need this. Actually, nah, we don't really need it, no. Because there's some in. There's some in the house. Right, do we need candles? We need a light bulb. Light bulb will become very useful. Actually, we didn't need those matches. Yo, Shit. May I help you? This. I'm sure all you, like, Shenmue fanatics know why I'm buying these things for again, sometimes yo. later in the game. So yeah, but you'll all, all you haven't played this game, you'll find out later. Right. Let's buy some milk. No oh, sliced fish. Actually, I could buy that. Yeah, I'll buy this. Even though he carries it about with him and you're supposed to keep it well refrigerated. Because I think, actually... The better the stuff no, you feed the cat, you? the more yes. it'll, like, evolve, if you will. Come again, yo. Right, uh... Because, like I said, I want to try and get those cut scenes, and I think you can only get them by feeding the cat a lot. If we don't get them, I'm sorry, but we'll try again some other time, but hopefully we will. Right. Right, it's almost night time. Right, I know what to do until you can only go to sleep at uh, 7 o'clock and you can go on to the next day, so you tend to have to wait uh, if you want to skip to the next day, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, and there's an arcade! We can go to the arcade. Uh, play some Sega Classics. I'm not gonna do that right now, though. Right now, we're going to practice our fighting moves. It looks like I can practice here. I should work on my moves. This is basically what you do when you're stuck. I'll lose my edge if I don't practice. I did this a lot. All right. I've played way too much Dead or Alive and Soul Calibur. I am seriously like. I remember being so used to these controls. Uh. Right. Anyway, there's a few new moves that you can master that you didn't know previously. Hold against the leg. Thunder kick. Right. This is gonna sound pretty bad actually, but there's supposed to be you're supposed to be able to level up, like do training before you go to bed. I hate to admit it, but I've never really gotten the knack of it. Like, the more you practice one move, I think, the more you, uh... The more I think you, I uh, can... I'm blabbering, aren't I? Okay, let me try and talk... Let me try and say this now. The more you practice one move, uh, the more... The better you become at it. And, uh, if you do training before you go to bed, Rio will look over what he's done, and he'll get better at that move. Like, if we look at the, uh, how do you bring up the moves list again? Our trigger. Right, we don't want to quit right yet. Like, yeah, if you look at Crescent, you'll see sort of a blue line above it. Like, behind, behind the fight style, there's an orange meter, and there's a blue line on it. I think if you do training, then you're, uh, It'll go that much higher, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's what I think anyway. I'm not completely sure. And I'll be right back. Oh, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. I've also got running moves. Uh, yeah, let me think. Yeah, I'm just I'm just practicing here. Uh, yeah, most of these moves you'll never use. You'll just button mash, really. And the uh, Y is to dodge, by the way. And to learn new moves, you actually have to be fighting someone. I've never. I don't know how you 
practice your moves without us. Well, I guess you can fight Fuxan, I guess, at one point. He becomes your sparring partner, you know? And you'll also be dodging a lot, by the way. Right, when we're prompted to uh, quit, we'll quit. I'm just practicing away, like I say. Okay, we'll quit for now. That's enough for today. It gives you a little uh, overview on how you practiced. Right, they all went up a little bit. Some more than others, I guess, but... Yeah, like, look at these. Uh, these two are unknown. To do them, we have to, like, go forward, backwards, and backwards, forwards, B. You know what I mean? Right. It's getting very dark outside. Right. This is if the bus I stick station. Around, I, can probably get more information. I can remember trying to ride the bus so, for so long, but you can't do it until you get to the end of disc one, I think it was. Right, let's start heading up. This is the other way. This is the other way into Dobuita, by the way. Uh, wait a minute. What's happening? Oh my god! I didn't know you could get this this early. This is a move instruction right here, guys. Uh, you'll usually in randomly, well, not randomly, but you'll initiate cutscenes of. <coughs> People who will want to teach you move, teach real moves, you know. And, oh, real. and they've got what a nice little cutscene with it, you know. I was having a drink with your father. With my father? Well, you may not believe it, but I've been training in Kobujutsu for many years. I used to spar with your father. After our workouts, we always drank sake together. That's pretty big for a sake cup. <laughs> By the way, have you ever learned this move? Huh? Watch. Double blow. Yamagashi-san, what move is that? It's an ancient technique that I once taught to Iwao. To my father. Martial arts masters often exchange techniques. Just as your father and I did. We were very good friends. It must be fate that you came here. I want to teach you this move. How about it? So yeah, you're given the option to accept or decline, but seriously, if you decline an offer, then you fucking suck. Please teach me. Well, there's no time like the present. I'll teach you right here, right now. Well, it's duh. a move from Kobujutsu called Double Blow. I'll show you the footwork first, so watch carefully. Take one step forward and build up your energy, then strike with your arms and legs at the same time. Basically that scene, take a this step forward a double blow. and press punch and kick try. at the same time. First, quickly shift your weight forward. Right. A nice little touch here actually, on the Dreamcast's VMU, it gives, it'll give you the move instruction that you did. Right, we can choose to just do it step by step, but I'm just going to do it in a one or to be a show off. Good. What? No! Fuck! Then as you move forward, you extend your arms and legs as you strike with your palms. I told now, you I myself try it again. again. Yay. Well, excellent. You have managed to learn it rather quickly, I see. Thank you. 
The double blow was developed during the 16th century. It's a very powerful technique and if done properly, the blow can be felt even through armor. Do you want to practice some more to make sure you've mastered it? Uh, I think we'll continue just for once. Yes. Please. Good. Training always pays off. Yeah. Let us continue. <laughs>